There's Cacio e Pepe, the pasta, and then there's Cacio e Pepe, the pizza. And since we've already made the pasta, give you one guess what we're making. And for those of you that didn't guess properly, we're making the pasta one. Look, uh, Max suggested this. He's had this someplace. What did I say? You're trying to punk our viewers and then you punk yourself. What did I do? You said we're making the pasta. We're making the pasta one. No, I think We're you heard me wrong. Pizza. Pretty certain you heard me wrong. I don't let's think just, Max is let's all side. wipe this, forget all of this. Max has had this uh, Cacio e Pepe pizza in some restaurant. And he said, hey, why don't we make it? So I did a little research. What's really drawn me to this is the technique for getting the Pecorino Romano uh, creamy because there is no pasta involved and in the pasta version you're using the starchy uh, leftover pasta water mixed with the the cheese and pepper I uh, can't do that here so there is a technique out there I'll admit I did not invent it but we're here to be a conduit ladies and gentlemen and if it comes out of my head great if it doesn't come out of my head then you still benefit right boys right. we will start by making uh, our own very quick pizza dough it's like that. The old gal has to rise for an hour, but that, and then and rise. <laughs> we begin with two cups of all-purpose flour. Write it down, don't write it down. The recipe is on the uh, website, cookingguy.com, under pizza dough. Next, we'll give it a teaspoon of kosher salt, like this. We'll give it one package of instant yeast. We'll give it a teaspoon of sugar, like this. We'll put the lid on and we'll give it a quick mix, a quick pulse, just to mix everything together. And then with the motor running, we'll add three quarters of a cup of warm water. And not too hot is about 110 and 120. You're gonna hear the sound change and a tablespoon of olive oil. And when it does, you stop it. And we take a look. Perfect, it's gonna be a little sticky. So here's what we do. We take it out, we'll put it on the counter with a little extra flour, put it down, give it just a couple of kneads like that into a pretty little bowl. Then it goes into a greased bowl, just like that. We cover it with plastic wrap. Cooperate, cooperate, cooperate. You, thank you. Nice and tight. This will go inside for an hour to rise and we'll be back. All right, we're ready to go, but first things first, there's the cheese and pepper to deal with. Look, Pecorino Romano is the only one that you wanna use and we need a bunch of this to go on top after along with our pepper, so We'll just be ready because once we start, it happens fast. And I'm going to use my microplane zester because I want it fairly fine. Big giant chunks of it are not going to help make this sauce. Considering I've never made this, I want to give myself every advantage and I understand the concept of finely shredded cheese is going to be important in this. Just microplane away. Don't be an Allen. Don't be an Allen. I'll tell you what this microplane does is this shit comes out like snow, you know? Better to have too much than to be putting it on the hot pizza crust and realize you're short or realize you don't have enough cheese. I mean, you might be short. There's you're a not difference. Short, you're average. I know. <laughs> I am average. Five, ten and a half. Okay, so I think I've got about uh, three-ish ounces of this uh, Pecorino Romano. Now, is the time for the pepper. And I want it fairly coarse, that's good. But you need a lot, so just do a bunch of this. Remember, you almost have only three ingredients in this, crust, cheese, and pepper. Okay, that looks good. A gentle little mix, perfecto. It's gonna be good, all right. Let's deal with our dough. There we go, look at it, doubled. All right, we gave it about an hour and a half, you're fine. I'd say go minimum hour, but hour and a half, two hours, it's all good. All right, so let's get this kit out. We're going to start to give it a little bit of shape on here before we put it on our board. So a tiny bit more flour on top. Oh, this is great. So this is not going to be a super thin pizza. You need some body for this good. You'll see why in a sec. And you're going to need an edge to keep in the moisture. So let's start to stretch it out a little bit. I think we're going to go about 
What's this? Is this maybe going to be 10 inches? As always, when you're making a pizza that's going to go into any kind of oven, you need it to come off the board easily. So before I get any more in size here, this is what we're putting it on. So I'm going to take a little bit of cornmeal that will act as ball bearings. When we go to slide it off, I'll put this right here. Now I'll just lift this kit up, put them up on here. Now I can work. So here's a nice shape. But what I need to do is I need to put an edge here because there's going to be melting water when this thing is in the oven. Ice cubes are going on top that are going to help make moisture for our cheese to help turn into a sauce. So I'm just building myself a little edge so everything stays in. Okay, I feel good about this. All right, let's get our oven hot and get ready to throw this kit in. Somebody say contact. 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 And... We're there. We're using the Uni oven, not sponsored by the way. It's not on, boys. It, it had an initial blast of flames, yeah. and then... Okay, it's Friday. Oh, it's, not, it's Sunday, I mean. It's Friday then, and Saturday, Sunday, what? We're 20? I see, I don't know, boys. I feel like it should be getting hotter faster. It might be a propane issue. <laughs> oh, it's definitely low. Do we think there's another one? Oh, there used to be one over there. Oh fuck, there's one in this. This little guy can get to almost a thousand degrees in a very short period of time. I don't want it to be a thousand. I'm gonna try and uh, keep her somewhere around 700 because ice is going on top of the dough. Top hat ice. And the ice needs to melt before the crust burns up. So we'll let it get hot and then we'll check. With my uh, crust ready to slide off, I'm gonna add some ice. I'm gonna put five cubes. Uno, due. I can't speak Italian. And now we'll monitor it. Clearly it's hotter at the back, so I'm gonna need to turn it a little bit, but for now, we're in. My ice got a little misdistributed, so... Come on, buddy. Everybody go where you're supposed to go. Perfecto. Ice is melting, crust is cooking, but I'm gonna need to give it a turn in a second, and I will do that by doing this. You see this cooking? Yes, that's all fine. But I just want it to be even. Nobody wants an uneven pizza. Right chance. Right. And again. So the ice is mimicking the pasta water. And again. Oh, it went off. F All right, well. <laughs> Try to crank it back on, I guess. Uh, no, it's off. It's dead. Who's yeah, got hands? Go see if you can get that guy undone. Shit. No? Oh, he's got, oh, fuck. It spurted a little gas, so this thing has got something in it for sure. Oh, it ran out of gas. What did I say? I said, I think we should get another tank. What'd you say? It's fine. Clown. And we're back. And we're back. Okay, we're getting ready for the next most important step. You know what that is? Jeez. See, si, the Pecorino Romano. It goes so fast. Wow, that is gorgeous, man. And it's cheese time. So it's hot. It comes out, cheese goes on right now. Oh, and we're not cheaping out here. So what you're gonna end up with is crispy outside, but the creamy inside of this. I'm gonna give this about 10 seconds inside the oven again, and then we're calling it a day. Fantastic. Let's go to the board. The only thing we're giving it, boys, just a little drizzle of good olive oil. That's it. That's all she needs. He said in his terrible Italian accent, trying not to uh, get canceled for cultural appropriation. And we cut like this. Then like this. And finally, like this. Look at it, you purdy thing, you. Well, I'm not wasting any time. I want this in the worst way possible. It's cacio e pepe in a piece of pizza. With no noodles. <laughs> no noodles. And by the way, it's like uh, the ice cubes create this creaminess that's there. Oh my God, and the pepper. You have to come out of uh, a bite of this or a bite of regular cacio e pepe going overwhelming cheese, delicious cheese, but a ton of pepper. And it's this sort of roof of my mouth pepper heat that I'm getting right now that's... Mm. Mm. Good idea, Max. Thank you. Good technique with the ice cubes, whoever thunk that up. Well, you just leave me here to eat this because it's all I want to be doing right now. See ya.
I hold in my hand the, the last garlic press. Look, a couple might be making a return because uh, people didn't grab them, but this is officially the last garlic press and it's lucky number seven. By the way, my favorite number. Uh, I am born on the 7th of August, if you're keeping score. But here's what we've decided to do. This one will be given away democratically. So, the most upvoted comment on this video, the second that the video that follows this is posted, will get this. It's in your hands, not in my hands, not in Max's, not in Chansey's. Your hands, number seven, with my face. Good Lord. All right? So go to the comments and find your favorites. Thank you, Max. Chance, you want to add anything? Let's see some good comments. Yeah. Let's see some good comments.